Now I'm gonna go cut my parts. Where do I go? Follow me! Oh, sweet! This must be the laser cutting room. The one with all the posters about laser cutting. Let's go! Crap! Why won't they let me in? Probably because I don't have laser access yet. You're gonna be laser cutting with one of the TAs, so you aren't gonna need swipe access. So you just got into the laser cutting room and there's four steps that we're gonna walk you through of things to do. The first one, we kind of titled it hardware. So when you first come in, the air assist is not on and that's the first thing you wanna do and turn on. So over here, there's this green button and you push it to on. This button back here turns the laser on. You'll get this welcome screen when it turns on. So now we're going to show you what you actually have to do in DWG Editor so that you can send your file to the laser cutter, okay? Okay, so you open up your pad. It looks like this in its natural habitat. It's incredible. Now what are we going to do? We're going to change its color. Why? Because it doesn't like to cut white stuff. Why? I don't know. Okay, cool. So, highlight the part. Makes it all green. You go up here to the right. Click down. Oh, I think I'm going to cut it. So now I'm going to make it red. Look at it! It's red! You have to hit escape to deselect everything in DWG Editor. Nobody knows why. It's a very confusing program. <laughs> okay, so now I want to print it. What do I do? Ah, well it's pretty simple. You go to file, and then you go to print. But that's not quite it. So, this is key. Look over here on the screen where it says fit to print area, size, page, something like that. You don't want that. So if this box is checked, uncheck it. Make sure that you're in inches and then set your printed units to one and your drawing units to one. This makes sure that the scale you're printing is one to one. After Brilliant! <laughs> afterwards, click, click print setup. Ah, so I don't want to print yet. I want to go to print setup. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Print setup. All right, so after I select the laser, I'm going to click on properties. I don't want to click OK because I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. You've got to click on properties. Oh, that's exciting. Now, this is the new interface that you're going to be working with for the blue lasers. <laughs> on here, when you first get in, it'll probably look like this. You have materials database up on the left, and what you want to select is your material. So I got an acrylic, extruded acrylic, don't want that because I have no idea what it does. <laughs> and then you set ma your material. So click, click once on extruded acrylic, <laughs> then go down to the bottom left hand side where it says material thickness and set that to whatever the thickness is. Great. Now, we go into manual control. The things that you need to know about manual control is that... You really don't want to control very much except for this little box. Exactly. What box am I controlling? That box right there. All right, cool. So if I'm cutting red, I want to set red to vector, which you do up here on the right. Not raster, not skip, not regular mark. Also, you do not want your z-axis to be on, so you set that to off. Then you have flow. You want to set the flow to air. Everyone wants flow. <laughs> May click set. Make sure your flow rate is set at 100% before you click set. Cool. From there, click OK. And now you're ready to print. So click OK again. And then click print. To access Woo! that menu again before you print from the laser cutter, go to the bottom right hand side of the screen, click on the up arrow, and then click on that weird red icon. That icon opens this window. On that screen, you can see the part you're going to print. If you want to move your part, you click on that move arrow that says relocate view, and now you can grab and drag your uh, your part around the screen. Oh, well that's nifty. So I can put it in the middle, I can put it in the right. I can put it half off the screen, but I would recommend that you do not do that. Yeah, don't do that. But once you, uh, once you position your part on the screen, the next step is to uh, zero and locate the laser. So you want to locate your laser off of the material that you're cutting. Click on this little dreidel icon on the right called Focus View, and then click it on your part. You can click on each end of your part, and this, if you look at the laser, moves your laser over. So I'm going to click on the top of my part, and you can see the laser move. So once you do that, come over to the laser, Oh, Jackie got your laser <laughs> top and put in your material. Wait, but what if I want to put my material in before I do that? Then you're going to die. To be clear, 
You first put the position that you want the laser to focus at, and then you put your material in. Exactly. So from here, as you can see, I have my material in. Now what I want to do is on the little, on the edge over here, there's this small piece of like plastic spacer thing. Now, this spacer is shaped so it has a little angle right there. You want to zero the laser by putting that angle underneath this ridge. It's important that you use the front ridge here because there's a little fillet there. And as you guys know, the fillet is going to be higher than the lower edge. So, you do that by clicking the dreidel icon here, which brings you to the focus menu. You're gonna wanna click on the computer to make sure that uh, it's in the right spot. Then, you take this and you put it under the front and press the down or up arrows to uh, adjust the table accordingly. If you want to adjust more finely, you can select select, and it'll switch which decimal place you're changing. And then when you're done, um, click, uh, click back, and now you're zero. So you've already set up the laser so that it's not gonna smash into your material, but now you wanna set up your material so that you can cut without wasting material. If you have a big sheet, don't <laughs> cut in the middle of the big sheet. Clicking on the top edge of your part first, then going into the oh going over to the laser, which is now centered on that top part, and moving your material so that it lines up with the top edge of your material, then going back to the computer and clicking another edge, say the left edge. Now the laser moves again, and you can line up the left edge to minimize uh, minimize waste. Then you want to lower the cutter head, lower the uh, sorry, close the uh, close the laser, and you click click play. And now it cuts out your piece. Now your piece is done, so you can lift up your lid and check out what you made. Before you close the laser and walk away, go click the dreidel button again and move your focus low. This will make sure that if someone puts thick stock and is neglectful and forgets to set the zero before they put before they move the laser head, it won't break the laser. That's Jackie and Ty signing off for TA's 101.